hello and welcome. So, I've had this planned for longer than I wanted because of a few little issues, but if you recall, I uploaded a video, I believe titled, it's like a, a it was a wrestling video, and it was titled, My Opponent is Wearing My Next Title Purchase or something like that. I had bought a belt a couple days before that however a few issues happened and the person ended up messaging to me myself because when I bought it somehow eBay forgot to change the fact that I'm from Australia despite the fact that I bought it with Australian thing apparently it was off so for a while I had no idea until he messaged me and then I got it done but I finally got it Hopefully this is it. So, let's get to it. So, I'm not going to explain what it is for those who, you know, didn't watch the video. But it's a very, it's a very, it's a very good purchase. So I like the packaging. Yeah, this one, the other one as well, when I got the 24-7 title, it was okay. Like, it was in a box, but done well. And like with this one, it's got plastic over it and everything. It's, it's done even better. So. Yeah, so just like the other one. When I got the 24-7 title. Oh. Oh, my. It was just in, like, cardboard like this. But this extra thing, I think it's because of the sleeve as well, for putting in, like, the information. Alright. Now, before I continue, just like the 24-7 title, I bought this on eBay. And not straight away, when I saw where it was getting delivered from, Pakistan, it's obviously a handmade belt from up there. So, it's... Probably not gonna, it might not look 100% like that one did, I explained in my other video. However, again, I buy these not because I want them to be exact, but because I can still display them and they're affordable within my price range compared to WWE Shop, which no offense, I, I would love to get from them more because they have belts that I can't find anywhere, but... It's very costly. Like, it costs me almost the same amount as the belt I'm buying just to ship. That's the only issue. So, here we are. <laughs> so, you can't see very well through it. However... Oh, it looks good on camera. It does. I already can tell right off the bat one thing that's probably going to be, you know, an example of why it's bootleg. As I bootleg cheap DIY. So let's just get the rest off. <laughs> I did again just like the 24 7 title video I chose to buy this I knew what I was getting into I can't blame anyone but myself however either way I I can still look at this in the end and be like I have this so oh oh that's big it's fucking huge that is humongous oh my god how many how many wrappings do I need so I'll show it off, obviously, I, first off, and then I'll explain why there's issues with it. However, again, if you're someone who wants replica, replica on point, go to the, buy it on the store or, or from the many other places. They're probably about the same price. However, if you don't care for the look and you just want to go as cheap as possible... Ebay, Amazon, you know, 
All right. Five star for packaging. Now, I will admit, this looks colourful. Ooh. This actually looks very colourful. Now, two things. Three things. Right off the bat. Number one, the strap is different. For anyone who knows the 24-7 title belt, that one had a little bit more of a thinner end. This one's the opposite, with the actual North American title being a thick just straight belt so you can see the curves here change it so that's one reason number two again like the 24 7 belt rep championship belts have a, like a 3d ish effect this is essentially just a straight metal sheet i'll give you an example of what i mean look at all this mess <laughs> so again 24-7 title. You know, the designs now I mentioned weren't on here. The, the strap was a lot different. And yeah, the front, its you can kind of see it, but it's not too 3D. Like, it, it kind of just looks like it, you know, was paint. It's its just, it's very um, cheap, obviously. It was cheap, cheaply done. However, an example for this, which I got from the WWE shop, you can see the big X is like thick and 3D, so you probably can't tell. Yeah. But the X is like the it's popping it's out. popped out. And obviously again, like with the strap, you can see it's got the actual detailing. Now again, I bought the commemorative off the WWE shop. That's why. However, again, it's only a commemorative. Unfortunately, the WWE shop doesn't have as many commemoratives for belts I want. They don't have a commemorative 24-7 title or North American. So that's the issue. Because if I were to buy the full version, it would cost me almost twice. However, yes, obviously those are the issues are going to come across. However, just for a belt, I still think this is great. I'm, I'm still happy. <laughs> and again, the leather, I, I feel like despite being thin, the leather's great because to me it's more flexible compared to the NXT one, which is a bit too thick. So I'm going to pop this baby on. And then... Yeah, you can tell it was done similarly, the way the buttons feel and that. Yeah. NXT title, the buttons were hard to put on because the belt leather is just a bit too thick. But with these, it was good. Now again, obviously, it goes thin to the back, so yeah, but I'm still happy. It's not as bent as the 24-7 one, it's more flat. But I don't actually know if the North American title is flat or curved. I don't care either way. Like, I prefer curved, but it's not completely flat. Like, it's got a tiny amount of curvage. But yeah, otherwise the side plates, despite the fact you can't take them out, they look on point. Still looks good for the logo, despite being flat. And yeah, I think it works well. Now, one thing I should have checked... When I did the last belt unboxing, the one thing I saw was that, unlike the NXT one, which covers it, just like this one, the tip is essentially just, it's its not, it doesn't cover the whole thing, it's just like, oh, it's screwed on. on. <laughs> but, again, it's metal, it feels metal, and again, that that's something you have to go through when you buy these belts. So, obviously... It is, you know, you get what you paid for. You can tell that it's got a bit of scratches and uh, as an example, this is flat. That's got bends in it. So, yeah. But, again, I chose to get something cheap because I wanted to get it cheap and that's what I got. So, I paid for what I got. Still great. Still love it. Not a regrettable purchase. Another one for my collection. And the North American title is a belt that I love a lot. Like, I, I love 
the belts in WWE, but NXT has, seems to have ones that you just look at and they feel like classic slash nice belts compared to the ones they've got now. So, that's all I can really think about saying. Um, I might, again, might buy more belts in the future. I do have a couple planned I want to get, but whether or not I want to get them, you know, eBay or otherwise, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyways, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next one.